So I'm stopping by my office here today because I had to pick some stuff up to carry to my house. And I, I wanted to make a quick phone vlog today because this is something I've been wanting to discuss with you guys for a while. Obviously, I'm a YouTuber. So as a YouTuber, I try to take YouTube, the platform, seriously. I try to take some responsibility for the stuff I post on YouTube. When I'm not just talking about videos, I'm talking about comments because I see way too many people posting bad comments on YouTube. And I'm not talking about bad comments as far as their critical comments or negative comments. I'm talking about bad in their almost pointless comments, like that person wasted their time even typing that comment. So today, for those of you on YouTube, and you're probably on YouTube if you're watching this, you leave comments often, I want to make sure you're not leaving the following kinds of bad comments. So the one I want to start off with, and you see this all the time, is a comment that goes something like this. Well, that's five minutes and 37 seconds of my life. I'll never get back. What's the point of that comment, right? Because if you're serious about your time is precious and every second counts, that person that wasted five minutes and 37 seconds watching that video also wasted another 37 seconds probably posting that comment, writing that comment and posting it. Why did you do that? You, if your time is truly precious, just bypass posting that comment altogether and move on. Another similar type of comment is, is the comment that goes something like this. Oh, a 30 minute video just to talk about how to wash your dog? I'll pass. Okay. <laughs> so if you're coming to the video and you see a title that you don't like, a thumbnail you don't like, or the video's too long, you don't have enough time to watch a video of that length, for a topic that you think doesn't require that much time invested, so you're just going to move on, you're not gonna watch the video, you don't have to tell anybody about it. Nobody really cares that you're not going to watch the video. And on the flip side of that coin is the comment that goes something like this. What the F did I just watch? Right, and the WTF did I just watch comment. Well, think about it. You just watched the video. So if you watch the video, you know exactly what you just watched. So as a content creator, some of the, the negative comments that I get that, you know, typically I see these and I just move on because they're not even worth my time are these commenters that begin this novel that they're going to write. <laughs> they usually begin these very long critical posts with, I know you probably won't answer me, right? If I see somebody that starts their comment as, I know you probably won't answer me, I know they if they're being honest, they're not expecting an answer. So I'm not going to answer them, right? So if I'm not going to answer them, guess what? That novel you just wrote, you wasted your time with that. So never begin anything with, I know you probably won't answer me. And another thing I hate is the people that begin these very long posts and they start it with, I haven't watched the video yet. But then, then they got a million things to say, usually negative things to say. They haven't even watched the video. They saw the title of the video, they saw the thumbnail, you know, they saw something in the thumbnail, they imagine that this video is going to be about something, but they haven't really watched the video yet, but they want to comment because they got something they really want to get off their chest. And if they watch the video and it has nothing to do with their comment, oh well, it doesn't matter to them. They're just glad that whatever they needed to say, they got to express it. That's usually a bad comment. Nobody cares because most of the time when you leave these I haven't watched the video yet, but kind of comments, they're typically going to be off topic and nobody cares. One of the worst types of YouTube comments are these unoriginal, repetitive, copy paste jobs. So you, you guys know this, somebody will copy and paste the same retarded message over and over again. The obvious example, me being a Linux content creator, is the uh, GNU copy pasta, right? Is I'd like to interject, right? You you guys see that? Yeah, you, know, you see the same person posting that thing over and over again on multiple videos, and and then other people join in, and these copy pastas, you know, they become like the cool kids club, right? They're always posting the same boring, repetitive messages that were maybe funny the first couple thousand times that I posted, but after a while, nobody cares. It's like kind of like ad block. As soon as I see some of these common copy pastas, I just mentally block them out as soon as I see the first couple of words and move on to the next comment. So you got to realize for most people, your comment 
it's already being immediately filtered out. They're never going to read a copy pasta. Another really bad type of comment are these comments that exist strictly to get likes. I know YouTube is a social media platform. They have the thumbs up and thumbs down button you know, on the comments. There's a social media aspect to it, but don't beg for likes. And, and I'm, there, there's a million different ways people do this, but some of the common ways I see it is, hey, like this comment if you agree this video was awesome. And it's not the person that created the video, right? It's just some commenter. He found some popular creator. Maybe this video is getting a lot more attention than some of their normal videos. So they know a lot of people are watching it. And this is a good way to get likes. I'm going to say, hey, like my comment if you think this video was awesome because I think it's awesome. And then they get, you know, hundreds, thousands of likes on the comments. But their comment really said nothing, right? It's just a pointless comment. It's just there to get likes. Uh, some other common ones are, hey, if this comment doesn't get 100 likes, then you'll never get a girlfriend. Or, can I get a like today? Today's my birthday. That's one I see all the time. And sometimes I'll see this person repeat this comment later, like on a later date. Like his birthday, he has multiple birthdays. You know, he has a birthday like 50 times a year, right? Can I get a like? Today's my birthday. And another one I see way too often is people that I'm assuming are pretending to be people they're not. For example, I'm only eight years old, but I love Linux. You know, p people that post on my channel and, and you know, they know, wow, this, this kid's only eight years old and he's already into Linux. Wow, this kid's awesome. Let me give him a like. It's not an eight-year-old kid. It's some 57-year-old man you know, living in his mom's basement, pretending to be an eight-year-old so he can get your like. And similarly, you know, the people that leave those comments like, hey, who's watching this in the year 2035, right? <laughs> they go and watch an older video, something that was made five, ten years ago. Hey, who's watching this in 2022? And they're hoping that the people that are still watching this video, because it's still getting views, it's coming up in the YouTube search algorithms, hey, these people, they're going to thumbs up because they're also watching it in, in this year, right? Uh, that's very similar to just posting to get likes. So who's watching in this certain year? Bad YouTube comment. Don't leave that type of YouTube comment. Now it's interesting me having made videos now for a little over four years and have gone through, you know, countless thousands, hundreds of thousands of comments. I've learned that you can tell a lot about a person from their YouTube comments. You can really gain a lot of knowledge as far as you can profile a person practically from the kinds of YouTube comments they leave. For example, I can immediately spot when somebody is young. And you like one of these angry kids especially. How do you know if it's an angry kid posting in your YouTube comments? Well, typically they'll either have you know like like a Minecraft or a Fortnite profile picture, right? Usually you can spot it that way. That's obvious. Yeah, that's got to be a young person because no one over the age of 16 is going to have a Minecraft avatar, right? But they also you can you can spot the angry kids because they love trash talking things that they know nothing about because the things they love to trash talk existed before their time, right? Things they never experience products they never use. So the angry kid, he's going to post things like, hey, Atari sucks, or 80s hair metal is lame, or, oh, that classic movie you love, it's boring. They've never watched that movie. They don't know anything about 80s hair metal, right? They never played the Atari because it came out, you know, 30 years before they were born. But to them, it all sucks. That's how you spot the angry kid. One of the biggest blocks of commenters, if I'm profiling them, is what I call the way too serious commenter, right? He takes everything way too serious. So this is the person, for example, that for some reason has taken great umbrage with something I've said, right? And, you know, he's taken offense to something I've said, right? He's usually taken something I've said out of context, right? <laughs> I'm going to make this personal here because, uh, you know, I, I get these all the time where a person imagines I've said something in a video that I didn't even say. Or I said something, but I said it meaning one thing, and they take it in a totally different context, maybe on purpose, right? <laughs> because this person, again, is one of these way too serious people. He wants to argue. He wants to debate something, even if it's something I didn't bring up. Man, you know, uh, 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 I take it personally, right? <laughs> so these people, the reason they take everything personally, these way too serious commenters, is because they imagine everything is about them, right? They pretend that they're so important that everything in life is about them. Everything that I say or anybody else says on YouTube, if they're watching the video, 
they're talking to that person, right? It's all about them. So, right, the video is all about them. These people are incredibly vain people. Oftentimes, the the way too serious commenter, you, you can spot him immediately because he's always trying to explain himself, right? He's always trying to explain his choices in life. Like if somebody says, hey, you should do A on this video, he's going to explain why he does B. Even though you didn't say doing B was bad, he, you were explaining one thing. He wants to explain something else because he needs to explain his choices. Whether it has anything to do with anything you said on video or not, he has to explain his choices. He has to justify those choices as if it matters, right? Because honestly, when you think about it, when you really think about it, even if you're one of these types of people where you're constantly explaining, constantly trying to justify the things you do in life, why? What does it matter? Can you give a reason? No, you can't, right? So you're wasting your time. That's why the way too serious commenter is a bad type of comment. One of the other things I can immediately spot is people that have identity issues, J judging by their comments. So people that identify themselves as their political party or their religious affiliation, right? They have no real identity. They don't identify themselves as you know, uh, a good husband or a good father or w whatever it is that th they are in life. They have no real essential self, right? They see themselves in this real crazy, superficial way where their identity is, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican, I'm a Christian, I'm a Muslim, you know, whatever it is, whatever team they've joined, right? And you can always spot these kind of uh, people, uh, again, that I or I'm labeling as people with identity issues because they identify themselves in the wrong way, you know, because they're the people that leave unrelated comments all the time, right? They can watch a video and then 99 times out of 100, they're going to post a completely unrelated comment. It has nothing to do with the topic of the video or the topic of the channel, right? And, and usually th these comments are religious and political in nature, these unrelated comments. That's how you know. That's how you can spot these people. These are the comments where you see somebody attack somebody's nationality or somebody's religion out of nowhere. For example, you know, I'm making a video about some technology law that was passed, you know, somewhere in Europe. And then somebody says, well, as an American, I'm glad this kind of law hasn't happened here. And then immediately somebody posts, well, let me tell you why the USA is so evil and doing all this stuff in the world that I don't agree with has nothing to do with the video, right? <laughs> so when you see those kinds of comments, that's this person that, again, has some issues, some identity issues. Now, I don't want to rant forever here about bad comments because not all comments are bad comments. Now, I will say probably most comments on YouTube are bad comments, but there are good types of comments. I, I'm only going to talk about one today because I think more people should strive to make this kind of comment. And I think the best kind of comment is first, right? The first comment, right? <laughs> I know a lot of people will disagree with me. A lot of people think the first comment is stupid. Yeah, when people post first, yeah, that's stupid. But you know what? It's fun. It's it's fun and stupid. And we can have that. And unlike some of the other bad comments, you know, the way too serious commenters or these commenters with identity issues, with the first comment, nobody gets hurt, right? It's just fun. Yeah, it's a little stupid. No one gets hurt, though. And there can only be one first on a video, right? So it's not like you're going to get bombarded with a thousand people calling first. You'll get a couple of people that call first and are not really first, but you know, they get shamed, right? Because those are the bad comments, the false first. But the real first is a good post. It's a real achievement. First is an achievement. It's an actual tangible goal that has been achieved and should be celebrated. So on this video, what I want you guys to do is go find the person who firsted this video and tell them you are so awesome. Peace, guys.